Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about embedding in Go programming language. Now, people from C++, Java, or Python background, you should be knowing about inheritance, which supports the concept of reusability. If at all I want to use the same process of inheritance, I'll be going for embedding in Go programming language because Go doesn't have inheritance directly. Let me give you some example to make you understand embedding. Let me take the important things that is required for any Go programming language. That's your package main, import, FMT, and function main. Let me take a structure, call this person, struct. Now here, let me take name, um, phone number, and then I'll take address. Let me take one more uh, structure, let it be employee. Now here, uh, if, if at all I say I want to have an employee, Employee will be having uh, his name, ID, uh, salary, phone number, location or address or department, all those things, right? So let me take um, name of an employee and then um, ID of the employee. I'll say department and then I'll say phone number of the employee, address of the employee and also take the salary of the employee. it be of type integer now here we can see uh, certain things are getting repeated which is already there in my program right I have a class called as I have a structure called as person which has name phone number and address now here in employee structure what I'm doing is I'm creating a name uh, phone number and address this is getting repeated right so whenever I feel my some of my process are getting repeated which is already there what I can do is that I can just remove it and then what I can do is that after removing this I can just embed the person structure inside my employee structure as you do inheritance in other programming languages right the same way i can just say the structure name now here what i am doing here is embedding right so embedding person inside employee right so i am embedding the structure person inside the employee structure now here what happens I'm reusing the code which is already there. So let me create some methods to get input for person and employee class. Let me say func. I'll create a pointer receiver to get input. I'll say e store employee and let it be get info. And I'll say func dot scan. I'll be getting input for e dot name id then i'll get input for name id department let me get input for phone number and then address i think i forgot to get input for salary so let me get me the salary right everything is perfect so I'm going to get input for name, ID, department, salary, phone number and address. Let me create one more method. It will be value receiver because I'm not going to change anything. Let me change the method name to set info and get info. Now here I'll say funds.println. Here, let me say name of the employee. Let it be e dot name. ID of the employee. E dot ID. Let me put department. and the phone number and finally let me print the address 
now let me create a variable emp of type employee right so i'll say if i want to call any of these methods i'll say emp dot first let me do set info and i'll say emp dot get info i think so far so good um okay i forgot to give the parentheses here it's just a typo that's it yeah everything is fine let me run this code for you i'll say go run embedding for example so first i have to get some input i'm getting input for name id department and then salary phone number and address so i got name phone number everything right so what i'm doing here in this program i have a class called this per so i have a structure called this person which has a name phone number and address and i have a structure called as employee which has id department and salary since i require the name phone number and address which is already there in my person structure instead of creating it all over again here i'm just embedding the uh, structure person inside my structure employee so when i embed this what's happening all the data which is uh, all the, the the data which is there inside my person structure which is ge getting embedded inside my employee structure so once it is getting embedded it means that i can access all my data which is present inside my structure class with the help of employee class itself that is what you are seeing here i am creating a variable for of type employee and i am calling the method set info with the help of employee uh, variable now here i am getting input for name uh, uh, what phone number address all these things are there in my person structure not in my employee structure even though it is not there in my employee structure i can access it because i have embedded my person structure inside my employee structure right so this way i am reusing the code which is already present right so it is almost similar to your inheritance in your other programming languages right so when i do this the properties of all the properties of the person structure is getting embedded inside my employee structure so with the help of employee variable i can access my person data got it that's it for this video guys if you have any doubts or queries in embedding do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely get back to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much